hello and welcome to our channel divine to the guidance 717 and i am here today to do an extension of our daily message hi my loves i hope all is well with you thank you so much for being here i am here to extend this message out i will talk about everything else at the end the warm 44k uh the extended readings and all information that you guys need to know uh, to get you updated on the channel um i have started doing this this way because it is um what i was called to do to change it and shift it up a little bit so here we go let's hop right in so what we got going on here is a recap <sighs> Chad, it's getting, it's, it's getting interesting, y'all. Um, these towers are coming down. There are any toxic relationships that were built on a faulty foundation are crumbling. Okay, the spiritual warfare and, and these love spells, love bombing, any type of manipulation that was done is now reversed. Any spiritual warfare, but what is happening now is that the, the warfare, the magic is going back on the person that sent it out. So, there's a lot of karmic relationships that are about to crumble, okay? They are crumbling as we speak, blowing up in the tower here. And there will not be anything going on with it. And the money and everything, God took the money out the connection. He blew up, he's blowing up everything here. So there's nothing left here, okay? There's a lot of um, drugs and stuff going on in connections, a lot of over smoking and drinking and stuff right now because these towers are coming down in these connections and things are being revealed and the truth is coming out. Whoever was doing love bombing and spell work and sex magic on your person, the divine masculine is awakening. He has awakened in the situation, which is causing chaos. There is He has now realized that this situation is a situation ship. Take it how it resonates, flip it how it should. This person is out of the mental entrapment that they were caught up in. They now see the situation as a situation ship. But what the issue is now is that whoever that they are with is in love with them. All the love magic and love spells and everything has went back towards this person who was sending it out to keep your person bound and entrapped in their energy here. There's also... Um, this person wants to put work in with your connection with you. They want to come back towards you, okay? But this person is holding on because they're in love now. They're saying you chose me and the decision is made. This part, this karmic person will not let this person go. This, your person is going through a serious burden, carrying a heavy burden. In a situation, they have not told this person that they're, that they're done. They want to be over with. This karmic has been going through their phones and... Um, pictures, things like that, hacking in their information to see what's going on. They've been all in their phone. They've seen it a lot. If you guys, if your person has stuff of you, pictures or memories of you in their phone, videos, anything, this karmics has seen it. They know your person's stalking you. They see new information in your person's phone and information and stuff that they have carrying around on. Your person keeps, they stay on their phone. They stay glued to their phone. And this karmic has found a way to get into their phone. This person is obsessively in love with your person because of all this, all the magic and backfire of the spells. But your person is tired of this connection. They want to come and work with you. They're afraid you're going to say, kiss my ass. They're afraid you're going to make them tell them to kiss your ass because of them leaving you behind and, and, and um, committing to this person here. They committed to the wrong person or went towards and married the wrong person. There's also a plot twist of a secret here is the reason why this person has been staying in the situation. Uh, some of your people have, have had some type of um, intimacy addiction. We're going to keep it at that. And they were bound to the devil here. They got caught up. This person has a, they have to register and they don't want you to know it. Mm -hmm. This person's terrified that you're going to really tell them to kiss your butt when this, when this comes out. That's why I've been tied to this situation here. Staying here so long. This person is truly praying every single day that you're going to forgive them. But they have to drop this burden. They're at the Ten of Wands, which is a bad place to be. This is a heavy ending with the Ten of Wands in the tower. This person did not want to invest with you before. They want to come give you everything they got now. They know you're the Ten of Cups. And they want to save it. That's what they want to do here. Let's, let's get started. This person was acting like they didn't care about you. Uh-huh. And it wasn't the truth. They've been holding out, sitting back, stalking, and watching you. This karmic has caught them watching you. They've caught this person. This person has even said your name in some situations if they're having sex with this person. This person is not connected in this connection. They know the situation is um, lopsided. Your person is now um, numb and very disconnected from the situation while this tower is falling. 
They're not investing anything else into this connection here. They're fighting every day with this person. They have to stay numb, um, doing a lot of drugs and drinking just to keep themselves focused and trying to keep themselves above water. What is the tower here? Yep, the devil. The situation's falling. The situation's falling. The tower is falling heavy in this situation here. This is a karmic connection. It's ending. That's clarification right here. Toxic relationship. It is falling. It was nothing but karma here. Nothing but karma in the situation here. It was all toxic. A karmic connection. The situation was poison from the beginning. And this person used nothing but spell work to get your person. They used everything that was very um, manipulative. All type of tactics to keep this person and everything's wearing off. God has removed all veils. Yeah, this part your person has had many red flags in this connection here to let them know what was what, but they had a lot of toxic uh, ways themselves that they were not willing to let go of. But this person, their heart space, they've been suppressing how they truly feel about you, and it's about it's, it's not not now that this magic is gone and they're out of their mental entrapment in this connection, and they don't they don't have any feelings for this person. They're not in love. They don't they're not in love with this person. They don't like this person. These two are very much aware of this being a bad a, a, a false connection here if your person was in denial of what it was before they know what it is now uh-huh and this karmic is hooked and don't want to let go this person's very smothering your person feels like they're in a, in, in a prison every single day this person even if they go to the bathroom they, they stand outside the door that's how obsessed this person is. They're very paranoid. This karmic is worried that, you, that your person's about to leave them and come towards you. And that's the truth. That's what's about to happen. The tower's blowing. It's about to be a very shocking situation that's coming. Yep. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's sweeping season. This karmic's about to get karma. Karmic karma. Yep. Their karma is for them to be left out. This person, and it, without the, and no, no money, no nothing. This person's about to be left out dry. Everything they stole from this connection and stole from you guys is coming back on them. You guys asked me yesterday about karma. When is the karma going to get their karma? When your person walks away from the situation, that's how it works. Once the tower falls on the, on, on the twin flame, divine partnership, uh, mirror soulmate connection, then this karma can get what they're supposed to get. And they're getting, they're getting everything back. Everything they stole. This person never had any true harvest. Everything was manipulated here. And if some of these karmas have a drug addiction, alcoholic addiction, and your person was taking care of it, was feeding it. Yeah, they were supplying this person's addictions. Some of them are mentally unstable and supposed to be on medication, and your person felt sorry for the situation, so they stayed here. Taking care of somebody else's children and everything. A lot of them are being held back in situations that's not even their children. What is the Eight of, Sword, Eight of Swords here? Yeah. Look, y'all, back to back. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords in reverse. Your person's awakened. Yeah. The they know it's a situation ship. This card says situation ship. Live in relationship. Someone wants marriage, the other does not. The situation is not going to end, going to last here. It's over. Yes, it's about to be a fall here. Your person is very, this is clarified. Eight of Swords in reverse on top of Eight of Swords in reverse. It is clarified that this situation is done for. Your person is finishing this connection. This is not a connection. The situation is done. They are aware that they were up under spell work. They're very much aware. What's the situation ship here? Yep. Yep. This was financial. This person understand and they know now. They see the truth. They they left they are in the wrong connection. They committed to a situation ship. Look at God. They committed to a situation ship. And they know it now. They're very much clear. There's no connection here. This person knows the truth. This karmic is going crazy and losing their mind because you're, they, no matter what they do, nothing is working anymore. Your person's not sexually attracted to this person either. Uh-uh. You don't have, I don't see any wands on this board. Mm-mm. They're not investing any more money. There's no, fi they're, they're losing finances here in this situation because they're committed to the wrong Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles upright is you. This karmic was in reverse. And they know that you guys are pissed because this person committed to the connection and they took care of somebody else. 
So they're afraid you're gonna tell them to kiss your ass and get out your face. And then there's another plot twist behind it with the sex offender registry here. Somebody has very toxic, um, these, these entities, whatever the spell work was here, it had your person um, amplified in whatever their wounding was as a child. Whatever they were running from when it came to you, this situation here has amplified. The devil has pulled their card. The longer your person stayed in this connection and did not come towards you, did not correct things with you and bring justice to the connection with you, they now have something that's hanging over their head. This person is a sex offender. Offender. They have to register. Yes, if, they, if not yet, they're going, they, they going through the process in court to be convicted of it. Yeah, that's what's going on here. What's the twin flame here? Yeah, what did I say? They ignored you. They ignored you. And they put work into something else. You were the ace of cups for this person. You were everything they were supposed to do, be supposed to have. All the happiness that they were given in their life it was with you. And this person kept rejecting your cup and putting work into a situation. And they're super pissed right now because they realized what they were investing into was nothing but karma. What is the eight of pentacles here? Yeah, well, the fortune. They, they, this is what goes around, comes around. They invested everything into the wrong situation. It's just like pouring your money down in a shredder. This is what this person did. They put their money in the shredder and they kept investing in the situation and kept investing in it and kept rejecting you and avoiding and not doing right by you, not fixing it, not putting work in. So now they're going through some serious karma here. Will of Fortune, the Will of Fortune has locked in reverse. This situation is bankrupt. There's no money here. We got a Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse twice, as well as the Will of Fortune in reverse. You guys, all this is coming back to you. Everything that was stolen, the will of fortune is in your favor. All the karma, all the justice you guys been waiting on for the situation to fall and come down and for you guys to be vindicated is here. This karmic is losing their mind. This person's obsessed with your person. Your person's going to need a restraining order on this person here. This person's seriously obsessed. They won't let go. They're holding on to your person for dear life. It says decision. He he or she chose me, so get you some business. Is what it says here. Yes. This person can't go to the bathroom by themselves. What is the um Ten of Pentacles here? I mean the, the decision here. You have this comic saying that this is their victory. Your person chose them. If they're obsessed, they're not letting go of your person. Your person has to let go of their karma. And this is what's been holding up the connection here. This is why your person has been going through so much karma as well. Because they've been refusing to let go. Which has been given this karmic a victory to destroy you guys' connection. And this was why you guys are saying kiss my ass. Because this person stays stuck here carrying a burden and not letting go. They held on to a burden. And they stayed stuck and didn't move. Just keep coming out. They stayed stuck in the situation knowing where they were supposed to be. And it's backfiring right now. Now it's about to it's about to end ugly here because this person has gambled. It looked like a two-time loser situation, a possibility of a two-time loser. This person poured your cup out. You guys were the ace of cups. They told they poured you guys out. Yeah. What is um the, the what is uh ace of pentacles in reverse here? Yep, the secret. The truth is out. This person was up on an illusion. They were, they were being deceived to believe that this person here, the situation shit was the Ace of Pentacles when it was nothing but a bankrupt loss. This person had absolutely nothing to offer. This karma was a bum. A serious bum. And it keeps saying it because it's the truth. This person had absolutely nothing to offer. Your person was drained of every single thing that they had invested. This person has nothing. This was, it's like what they say, squeezing something from a turnip, blood from a turnip. That's what this was here. There was absolutely nothing here. This person was just worried about holding on to your person and stopping it from coming towards you. And they kept them, uh, like I, from the continuous of yesterday, they kept them under heavy magic so they could not see. But now the illusion's, the illusion's over. They see the truth here. That they were investing and committed to the wrong situation. It was all. It was a deception. This person was deceptive. This karmic was deceptive, and your person was too, because they stayed away from the city. They stayed away from you, and the truth is out now. You guys know the truth about why this person stayed away from you. You, you know now. Now they're afraid you're gonna say, "Kiss my ass." Yep, that's what's going on here. Who child? It's not worth it. Mm-mm.
Yeah, and some of you guys with it. Some some of them left babies behind too. And then he gonna say, "Kiss my ass." What's um? What's kiss my ass? Yep, Ace of Swords, absolute truth. You guys want the truth? If you don't get the truth, you're gonna tell this person to kiss your ass. This is the part they don't understand. That the only way you're gonna tell this person to kiss your ass is if they come into you not telling you the truth. This person has to come with the nothing but the truth. A hundred percent truth. Yes, they do. That's, yes, they do. They gotta tell everything. Even the stuff that you know, they gotta still tell you. Uh-huh. Somebody's twin flame is a sex offender. Yep, this person picked up a case. Yeah, they did. What is um sex offender registry? Yep. Wow. What did I say? Sex offender. What did I tell you guys? This came from the addictions of their childhood wounding. Whoever they were with, this person here, did serious warfare. They attached all type of entities to this person. This person had a serious sex addiction. Yes, they did something very, um, this karmic wrapped this person up in some serious sins, y'all. Yeah, something happened here. We got the devil on the board twice. My eye just twitched, my right eye. Yeah, something going on here. And it's something sexual, of course, because it's sexual, a sex offender. Something's happening here. Something has happened. And that's why they stay bound to this person and didn't move. This karmic knows the truth. Yep. The person does not want you to know. But it's coming out because it's a, it's a heavy addiction. The devil's releasing. The devil's coming to collect. And they, they're collecting on this person's reputation. And what, they, what, what they've been hiding is coming out with the moon. This person has to tell you the truth in order to break this, karm, this, this karmic cycle. This is a debt that they have to clear with you. Yep, that's what it is. This karmic amplified their wounding. This is a sex magician that your person was with. That's, they bound your person through sex because your person was sex, sexual, sexually lustful and greedy. This person was very much a player. They had a lot of lovers. And this karmic wanted to win at all costs. They knew that no matter what, your person loved you. No matter how many people that they were with, your person loved you. That's why they didn't want you to know what they were doing behind the scenes. But this karmic is going, they're, they're, they've made it where this person has no other choice. They amplify and attach entities to make your person expo expose themselves by being a, by having a, this heavy addiction. It's a heavy sexual addiction here. This person was very reckless sexually. They were doing some serious stuff here to catch a sex offender case. That's what's going on here. This, this has to come out. What's the devil... What did I say? What did I say? It has to come out to the Empress. What did I say? Their divine counterpart. It has to come out to you. There's no way around it. The situation has to come out. This person, it has to come out. And that was the that was the karmic's whole purpose for this happening. They knew that the, they they knew that this would be the major gamble for your person here before they go into a new cycle. This has to be clear. This is a debt that has to be cleared. Yep. Before you guys can start over, before anybody can move forward with any decision that they make. Because this free will is up to you. But there's something that's coming out about the sex offender situation here. Yeah, what is this part? What I say? This person was reckless. This person was reckless, and that's why they rejected you. And this is their karma, will of fortune. This is bad karma. This karma could this karma here could destroy your connection. Yeah. Because this person has to register. Yep, they have to register as a as an offender. They have to register as an offender. This card is why the victory card is here. This card, this, this victory card is here to keep them stuck. This what that's what's been keeping them in this connection here, and stopping them from walking away from the situation that they were in. Wow, Father, what's the victory here? This is a plot twist. Yeah, this person is depressed. They are sick. Your, your twin flame is losing it. They're very sick because the tower is coming down and the truth's coming out regardless. So they're backed up against the wall because if they don't tell you the truth, God is bringing it out anyway with the tower in reverse. It's falling. We got two towers here. So he's giving this person time to tell you with the tower upright and if, they re if they've they been refusing, so the tower is going to be the truth coming out, which is going to cause you to say kiss my ass anyway because they're not being honest. 
this person has to register as a sex offender. They have to tell you the truth to break this karma. And God can fix anything. But you have to be willing to uh, give and take. This person has to clear this justice with you. What's this? Um, yeah, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? This karmic did this. Why? Because they're in love with your person. They wanted to be the ace of cups. This karmic wanted your person to love them, to love them like your, your person loved the empress. Your divine masculine is in love with you. And it's 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 been they've been suppressing it for so long. They has and with this magic leaving and the spirit the, the spiritual warfare fading away and clearing. Their, their love for you is even bigger than it was before. And they can't, they can't stand this karma. This karma has been keeping this person blackmailed and stuck in a trap because of what they are hiding. This is a heavy hidden secret here. This is heavy, y'all. God is releasing all truths. These towers have been coming down heavy. And the secrets are moving. No more deception. This person has been hiding this from their other half. You guys share a soul. And this has to come out. That's why this person's praying for you guys. They're praying. This masculine is praying daily that you will listen to them and, and understand where they're coming from. But that's also why God is showing you too what happened. So you can change your perspective when it comes to whatever. Choose your direction, whatever you want to do. I'm not in control of your free will. I'm just giving a message the way God wants me to give it to you. Do with it with, as you may. But this is what's going on. Somebody kept somebody hooked. Because of what they know. This karmic cover all their bases. To make sure that your person could not move away from them. But your person, this is their karma with the will of fortune. Because they left the situation with you unjust and moved into a cycle with the devil, thinking that something the grass was greener on the other side when it was nothing. It was nothing but but a scattered, shattered picture of what you guys were supposed to be. This is sad. Yeah, look what I say. This person losing their mind. Your person's mentally unstable here. That because of all the spell work, this person was caged up and trapped up in spell work here. They were. Uh huh. This karmic mess with their mind. Some of these masses may be off balance because they are very, they very desperate not to lose you. This person knows what they're hiding. They have a lot of secrets that they that they think that you don't know. It's some things that you don't know. The sex offender thing is a, is major. You guys don't know nothing about that. And the details behind it is mind blowing. It's life changing. But it was done it was done purposely by this karmic, by this third party. Yeah, to amplify your person's wounding. I told you this person no matter what went on, this karmic don't want your person, just don't want you guys to be together. They don't want this person to be happy. This is an enemy that is holding on to them and has been doing everything to plot and, and plan to keep them trapped. In this situation, this sex magic, your person's wounding had to be in their sex. A sexual energy, the sacral chakra. Yep, yeah, that's where it was at. And this person played, they, they were very lustful. They were very immature, not a wise. Bouncing from bed to bed to bed, a player. Non-committal. If your person committed to this karmic, it was out of spell work. Because your person's non-committal. They're still a teenager in, in their emotions when it comes to sex. The situation here with this um, Queen of Wands in reverse, this person attached, that when they, when they made love to this person, they attached a whole lot of entities to them. That's a lot of wounding. That's a wounded warrior here to keep them entrapped and amplify them so that they can, they can go haywire. And, and spaz out and make really bad reckless decisions sexually to get them caught up. And that's what happened here. This person got caught up. They got jammed up by this karmic. What's the will of fortune in reverse? Yeah, what did I say? By this narcissist. That's what happened here. By this narcissist. But what I tell you guys, when this situation comes down, this karma is going to get their karma. Well, the fortune, what goes around, comes around. This person's about to get their smoke. Because this karma was also promiscuous and out in the streets. What is the um, not of, not of Pentacles here? Karma. Your person's depressed. 
Yep, this is their karma for staying stuck and not moving. Did your person stay stuck in the situation and did not move? They knew they were supposed to move a long time ago. Yep. They thought they were being funny. They thought they were controlling the situation. The games that they play have backfired. What's the tower in reverse? Yep, look, they hung in the tower while it crumbles. They hung in the tower while it crumbles and they have to tell the truth. The truth has to come out. So either they're going to, they, God has been giving this person time to tell you the truth and they've been ignoring it. So now God's about to release it and this person's going to be hung and can't move. While all this stuff come out, that's going to be their karma. Yep. Mm hmm And the same for the karmic. All their business is coming out too. Everybody's gonna know that they were lying on you and trying to be you and hating on this connection. They're gonna know how your person ended up with them. They're gonna know it. Everybody gonna know why your person never left this person, why they will always go back to them. Everybody's about to know the truth. Yes, they are. Everybody's about to know the truth. Everybody's about to know the truth about the situation. Ace of Cups, your person's in love with you. You guys were married in the past life. This is your husband or wife. Yes, it is. And you guys had the devil wedged between you. This is sad. It's a beautiful connection that was wedged and trapped by the devil. That's what happened here. The situation was wedged and trapped. The karmic was the devil in the middle. The emperor and empress was entrapped by the devil. Let me get this together so you guys can see it. I want to get to, I want you to see how this is playing out here. So you can see all of it. The Emperor and Empress, you guys were separated by the devil, by lust, a lust demon, and obsessions, um, addictions, anything of the dark. You guys were separated by that. That's what caused the problem here. Yep. The karmic was the, was the devil. And your person could not see off the tip of their nose because they were so focused on sex and lust. And now the emperor is in love and caught up and got something to tell you. That's what we got here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yep, it's a secret that's about to come out. It's a heavy secret, too. Yep, a heavy secret that's about to come out here. Give me a little bit more of what's going on behind the situation before we go over to Patreon. This is heavy, y'all. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm God telling me to tell y'all something. Um, this is for divine counterparts. This is for twin flames. This is for anybody that has a divine partnership that you're supposed to have with your person here. You guys came back to clear karma. Okay. But we all have free will. We all carry free will. Um, we all have karmics and paths that we have to go through some of you guys have not even met your divine counterpart some and those of you that have already and share a connection with your person that's a blessing okay if you guys have families and children with your twin flame or soulmate that's a blessing as well but you guys have karma things between you that you have to heal and that's why god keeps you separated it's a lot of karmic connections that you guys are both tied to when it comes to your family, your friends, or whoever else is around you in your circle, in your community. and But you both are split off so that you both can see, um, make your decisions. And whoever you are, you guys are going towards the empress. You are the empress, but you are transforming. You have not been fighting your path. You've been, you were rejected in this connection. You were mistreated in this connection. You were not seen. Your value was not seen. You were, it was left unjust. The situation, this person was, was sitting in their pain and being pessimistic and not making a move towards you, though they owed you justice. The easiest way for them to break this karma for the situation to have gone another direction is for this person to have brought justice to you. You guys were married in the past life. This is your husband 
or wife, okay? And this person, what they went and committed to some to a karmic, a promiscuous person, a whore, a Jezebel harlot, a wedge between you guys, a femme fatale. This person's job was to assassinate this connection. Yeah. This person wanted to dismantle this connection. And everybody has free will. This person went willingly into a a um a toxic karmic cycle. Yeah. They they had spell work on them, but they still had the free will. What I mean by that is this person was warned. They had a lot of red flags. They had a lot of people around them. They had a lot of things that was told to them. A lot of red flags. And this person still was setting their ways and stubborn and refusing to see the truth and go and they went on into the cycle here. They thought it was a better deal than that they had with you because of the illusion this person had built. But actually there was actually nothing here but abuse and karma and and um catastrophe. Now this situation here is about to hit an ugly bump because the tower is coming down in reverse. And the injustice is still sitting here. Somebody's going to go to jail for something sexual. They're going to have to be registered. And they have to tell you that. In order to break their karma. That's the middle energy here. That's what they're sitting in right now. They're sitting in that right now. And still hooked to this person here. Not understanding that the only way this is going to clear is for them to drop their karma. Which is who the person that they're holding on to. Everything is coming out anyway. This person has wasted a lot of time. This person has caused themselves so much extra pain. This person has to hate themselves. This is self-hate here on this board. And I don't like to say that, but it's the truth. This person hates themselves. This person was hurt as a child in some type of way. And they could have repeated that cycle. By being amplified by this person here. When you were brought in to nurture them, if you're the empress, you were here to, to nurture them and be that tool to help them to transform and become the person they're supposed to be, which was the emperor. Upright. A leader. A boss. That's what we got here. We're going to take this over to um, Patreon. It's about to get deep over there, y'all. This is heavy, but it's the truth. The magic is clearing. Everything that was done was is, is now in reverse. They kept their empress a secret. And they suppressed it. And this Carmen knows everything. This person's been on their phone. They've been hacking in their emails. This person been all in their business. If you got if your person got Google got you a Google account or an iCloud, they've been all in your person's stuff. Mm -hmm. they've seen everything this person is angry because they know that your person is very much in love with you the ace of cups is love love this person is deeply in love with you and this karmic is, a, is pissed because no matter what they, it's not working nothing's working to keep them up to stop them from loving you and they, they don't understand that the reason why it's not working is because you guys share a soul you're meant to be you were at one time one person if you're twin flames so this person, both of them have been beating a dead horse that's not going to budge. And it's both and both of them are coming down in this tower since they were both stubborn and did not want it to end. This injustice has to be served because this is your justice. You were mistreated. You were the one that was done wrong in the situation here. And it was left that way. It was never corrected. And it's about to be corrected now in this season. It's coming down ugly, but... You guys just hold on because it's about to get real. You guys, if you'd like to meet us over on Patreon, um, I'm going to first go over a few things. I will have up the um, three free winners soon, okay? Probably beginning of next week or somewhere in there or Sunday, I'm hoping. Um, if you guys would like to be a part of that every month, I give back three free winners to three beautiful tribers. Um, the eligibility guidelines are in the description box below every single video on our platform, on both platforms. Um, one, you guys must be subscribed to both channels. I got both links 
I got both channel links in the description box now, so you guys can click. If you can't find the channel link, it's in the description box below this video, below every single video on this new platform. I got it in there, okay? You just click on new channel or click on old channel and subscribe, okay? And click the notification bell so you guys will not miss me. I'm working my butt off to make sure I get your messages out, but you guys got to you guys subscribe and um, click notification so you can be notified. I miss you guys. I love having you. I'm hands-on. I'm one person that truly cares about you, and I show it over and over again. So I just need the love back. That's all. And and, and with that, we can grow and move forward and, and, and hire this vibration because this devil energy here has to go. Yeah, nobody deserves to go through all of this right here, but somebody hates themselves. Somebody walks around like they are very much um, in the emperor energy upright, but they don't like themselves at all. This person is not a leader, they're a follower. This person hates themselves. They're very much lost without their empress. You are, they're codependent on your energy. This person needs you, but they're very much arrogant. This person is in, stuck in their uh, ways. And it's about to cost them. This, this pride before the fall situation, this person falling out the tower on their head. And you were supposed to help them land on a pillow. So if you guys um, need a, I'm booking readings, two questions for $15. Um, if there is, uh, if you need ASAP, add $10 to that. I'll get it to you within 48 to 72 hours. $10 only for the two questions, okay? Um extra on top of the 15 for 48 to 72 hour delivery um i'm just i'm, I'm caught up in this message i'm sorry y'all give me a little bit um when it comes to the special month reading we're doing a twin flame soulmate reading uh twin flame or soulmate extended reading okay um, it comes with uh with four questions okay you don't have to use the questions it's up to you if you want to use them um, it's regular price, seventy-seven, seventy-seven. God has me doing it for $65 for you guys until the last day of the month at 11.59 p.m. If you need a payment plan on it, make sure you have the first payment paid by the last day of the month at 11.59 p.m. to be locked in at the $65 rate, okay? All readings on our platform can be put on a payment plan except for emergency readings, okay? If you guys would like to book something with me, please email me. Do not comment on Patreon or comment in the comments because I will miss you. I don't, I don't, I don't get the, I'm busy all the time, y'all. So the, my babies that work with me know that emailing me, I get right back to you. It shocked them how quick I respond because I'm on top of my business. I love you guys and I'm, I know my purpose. My purpose is to help. So therefore, I must always answer. I will never cut off my comments. I will never block you off of my, um, block you out of my email unless you give me a reason to okay i'm always here to help any way i can i think and i thank you for your support and for allowing me to help and walk with you on your journey so if you guys need me please email me okay if you want to be taken care of please email me if there's something that you don't see or you have a question about something email me the first thing is i got my email down below i have my paypal and my cash app if you guys like the book all the readings are on the roster i have one of the neatest description boxes that you have ever seen it's very neat and structured so i make it easy where you guys can see everything that you need just make sure you don't skim make sure you read it so you won't miss nothing and then you'll be able to take care from there. Any other questions outside of that, email me. If you would like to bless the channel, please, my PayPal and Cash App and P.O. Box are below, okay? I thank you guys so, 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 so much. We are heading over to one to our 144K and Patreon. We're going to go over to Extended, okay? Um, we meet every single Tuesday for 144K, okay? It's 530 a month. I will put up a video every Tuesday. I'm very consistent in my work. Um... For the extenders, you get four a week, okay? And the 144K chat membership bundled for $11.08 a month. Um, if you guys would like to join that, um, the it's on both channels, both of our channels, which the link is in the bottom in the description box for both channels if you need them. You go to the about on the home page to the about section, which is the last tab. You go down to Patreon, click on Patreon, and sign up. If you are on the new channel only, we also have TikTok. If you guys would like to go over there too, I put up the previews of the premieres and also the daily messages as well over there. As well as I put them up for shorts for you guys now too, okay? So you can get the shorts to get to get the preview of what this message is going to be every night. Um, so that's about it. I hope to see you guys over there. I thank you so much. Please pray for this person. 
And if this person comes towards you, God is saying for you to have gratitude. No matter what your decision is, have gratitude. This person was, they 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 hung themselves in, in a mess and they stayed stuck because this person, they, they needed you, but they wanted to be bold and act like they didn't. And this person clung to karma. They were abused so bad as a child and misused so bad as a child that that's all they know they were used. They chose abuse over love. And it's costing them this time. Mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. I thank you and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.